Oh, right. Now I'm in this headset if it sounds any different. Uh. Alright, do you remember how to push? No. X. That's how you <laughs> Well, you can short your feet. You can short your back foot with this stick and your front foot with this stick. So, to do a, as a, as a be a nollie. Now, look, hold, hold this for a second. I'm going to try to show you how to wait. I don't know how to stop. Okay, okay circle, circle, so you like, okay, well, you, you want to, here, just match up, match the up on the D-pad, match up on the D-pad. Alright, don't move. So do a ollie, hold down right here, now let go. That's an ollie. Now to do a kick flip, now to do a kick flip, you'll do the ollie and then flick this at an angle. Perfect. Okay, as soon as you pop, so that's a heel flip. <laughs> look, look, as soon as you pop the ollie, you want to kick the other foot. That way, preferably, not that way. They, that's a kick flip. Alright, you got that. Now you can do the heel flip. Which would be the same thing as kick flip on the other side. There you go. Now shove it. You don't even use this stick. You just go down for the ollie and then swoop it sideways. Sideways? Swoop it, swoop it like this. Swoop it. There you go. You can do it either way. Do what? Look, swoop it before you let go of the ollie. I don't understand. Here, no, no, they, they, that, that, but either direction. Do that, do the same thing in the other direction. Now. There you go. Three shove. Now if you do it lighter, it'll, it'll spin it less. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Because the Ollie just holds it and <laughs> slams his butt cheeks on the scale. Now, it, every, this is, it's literally like skating, so everything you do with, uh, that was a straight look. If you want to do a tray flip, you know, you put this at an angle and then flip that sideways. It's a mixture between a pop shove it and a, a, a 360 shove it. <laughs> um, but, uh, it's like skateboarding, so anything you do regular, if you want to do it nollie, it's backwards. If you want to do a switch, it's also backwards. I can't even. Also, do you want to know how to turn, by the way? Because you turn, you turn using the triggers, that's how you do it. It's like your shoulders. That's so weird. This game is such weird controls. <laughs> the reason why it feels like that is because it's, it, it's supposed to be like you're actually skating. And in skateboarding, you're returning, you're actually shifting your shoulders and everything to turn. That's what it's just going to be. I gotta go find, how to get up on this, uh... You don't want to get a lot of speed, by the way. The faster you go, the harder it is to find balance and stuff. Also, if you want, if you want to, here, press the right. <laughs> what? Press triangle, there you go, press triangle. Alright, now go all the way to the, the end of that ramp. Go to the far end. Look, way over here. Keep going back with the far end. Up, alright, right there. Alright, back up. Now, okay, okay, now turn that way. Alright, you want to be on this thing going straight. There you go. Now, just once, just one, okay. You just want to push once on that, because then. And then I die. Die. <laughs> push once, and then there you go. Crouch, crouch, crouch to get ready for your ollie. Oh! <laughs> His hand is. Alright, now get down on the stance to Ollie. So crouch down and then pop Ollie and yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> just gonna hit the ceiling. I'm gonna go through the ceiling. Watch it. Oh. Oh. No, 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 L, uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to grab your board, L1 and R1 uh, control your hands to grab the board. Control your hands, control this board. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna try to skate this thing over you get done, see if I can skate it. Too much speed. Alright. And uh, I can tell you're gonna hit that wall before you can. I have to hit this wall speed of light. Oh, there you go, there you go. Wait, were you doing a high pop? Were you doing a little 
glow sticks? I guess. Because that's a high pop. That might be why you're going to see them. You're doing a high pop. A high pop. No, no. It <laughs> nope. I just hit the ceiling regardless. A high pop is whenever you're using glow sticks. If you use glow sticks to Ollie, that, I that that's what I'm talking about. Watch this. <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's probably what would happen if I tried to skate a vert ramp in real life. Uh, that wouldn't happen. I don't know how that happened. Uh, pop, you want to ollie to get out of that thing. Although, you have to control... Look, if you want to... The controls are very detailed and super, like... I don't know how to explain it. Like, they're, they're very realistic. If you can't control your skater, you'll end up doing stuff like that. That's that's why a lot of people end up not really that. A lot of people that don't actually skate don't end up liking the game very much because they don't spend much time to learn it. Because oh. they're not trying to actually skate. You can just press circle to get out of that and then it'll go back. But, uh, you have, to, you have to learn how to play the game because it's based off of physics and how you actually skate in real life. That's why when you don't know how to do something, it does stuff like that. Now, uh, whenever you're up there with Kofi, if you want to control which side you pop out of, if you press R2, It'll, 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 it'll make you pop out that way, and if you press L2, it'll make you pop out the other way. Yeah, information so I'm not gonna retain. Go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. If you wanna get, if you wanna, if you land that breath, oh, that was actually, you landed it and then died. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do in real life. I, I do the, I'm a. Woo! <laughs> you imagine someone in real life just, just hard decking it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know how you're doing so. <laughs> Bro, what am I? I got this. You know, maybe I should have put you in a tutorial before I threw you in the random map. Throw you in the random map. Woo! Just so you know, if you actually get the top of this ramp, and I'm like, we're gonna end the season going that bad. You can make it on the top of the ramp, though. <laughs> oh, he made it! I didn't die. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going. I'm just going through this ramp. Oh, ooh! Grab your board. Whenever you, whenever you get like that, and you're going to a trick. You want to grab your board and hold it until he lands, because then he'll drop it as he gets to the back of the ramp. I don't know how to grab the board. I've already L forgotten. Board. You grab some board. What? You have to make it in the air first. No, oh, I'm literally not, I'm just going, I'm just going at the Don't push, don't push, don't push. Hey. Sick. Sick. Sick, let me do the one thing I'm not supposed to do. Sick, let me die. Alright, L1. Or... Crail cap. I don't know. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna run. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're fine gravity again. I don't need friction. L1. What, you, like, you, you, if you hold the analog sticks, it holds the uh, trick out, and you won't catch the board. You catch the board the <laughs> this game is just... Sick. Sick. <laughs> This game, this guy talks. Stack. my pyramid! That's, that was not a pyramid, that was a <laughs> stick. <laughs> this dude builds a stick on my table and calls it a pyramid. Alright, buddy. Alright, now just to clarify before I start this, 
Darian's case, he hasn't played the game like hardly at all, other than maybe one time. I do not skate vert or tranny very much in this game, mainly because it's like the first map I've played where it has it in there. Hey, here we go. I'm gonna hit. Oh, up. Oh, yep. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Dead. All right, I'm gonna try to do a kickflip, uh, something kickflip to whatever that is, and oh, I live. And it didn't count because I hit the wall. Although no, no, no tricks technically count. You don't have like a, a score system. All right, no, or blunt, just a blunt slide. To kickflip 180. No, that was a tail. Oh, it's not a tail slide. It was a blunt. Nose grab. That was a tail grab. Nose grab. There we go. And, yeah. You can't. This is. I do not skate for at all in this game, which is why I'm having to, like, call out what I'm doing. More than once. Oh, the kick flip. 720. See, I will say, though, as you can tell, the Darian has it. was uh, making it look this realistic and good because of the fact Darian doesn't play the game. I have probably put. Well, there you go. Good job. Yeah. Realistic. Very much. I have put a lot of time in the game, so I'll, I actually know how to do some of the tricks. Now, I'm not good at first skating this game at all, by any stretch of the imagination. But I, I will say I'm better at Vert in this game than I was in Skate 3. Inward Hill to Indy. There you go. Oh. Oh, no, that died. Alright, do you, you want to try to skate street? I assume you were just having fun dying. <laughs> Alright, this is what I'm most likely going to be the best at. Well, or not. Alright. There we go. And I was going to launch off that and make it look retarded, but apparently I just ended up going into the grind. Nose man, and then nollie kick, the regular mani, and then we're gonna tray flip off this gap right here. Boom! This board looks dope, but I'm probably I might change the uh, actual deck itself and just uh, have the uh, grip looking like this. Let's see if I can get up there. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Yeet. Oh, hey, I did it. Oh, okay. All right. I shouldn't have popped out until after I got to the end of the thing. Now, uh, real quick, to do here, actually, I should I should have this on right now, just to show you. Uh, where is it? Controller display. Now look. Uh, all right. You know, you already know how to do like the ollie and everything like that, and then uh, high pop ollie. Uh, in order to do like something like a nollie, which is what I did over there when I done like that flip into that uh, crooked crane, you use the other foot, which is the other analog stick, push it up to do a nollie, and then pop them like that to do a high pop nollie. Now on your switch, you have to do the same thing, but it's going to be backwards on your skater, just like in real life with, with uh, switch skating. Everything's backwards, so whatever I want to do, if I want to do a nollie, which would then be called a fakie, I'd have to like pop like that. I didn't mean to have a trick going, but there you go. It had to pop like that. And if I want to do a, uh, s just a switch ollie, it had to pop like that. So it's basically a nollie, but reversed on the skater, because that's how it'd be in real life. It, it, uh, it sounds complicated on the game, but, uh, and it, it also, uh, a lot of people have thought it sounded stupid on the game, from what, uh, like, from people reviewing it that don't actually skate in the scene. But, me included with everybody that I've seen that actually skates in real life, it makes total sense because whenever you're skate, whenever you're skating and everything, and you start like learning how to skate switch, it throws everything off. It it literally feels like you're trying to learn how to skateboard again because you're having to learn how to balance uh, on the opposite feet, basically. Because okay, whenever you're skating normal, like your regular stance, you always put m a little more weight on your back foot, and whenever you're doing that. You, your body is just trained to put more, a little bit more pressure on the back foot and everything and have most of your body weight centered around the back foot because that's how you're going to pop and everything. You're going to pop with your back foot. Whenever you start learning to switch, you literally have to flip everything you know. Kick flip everything. It automatically goes to the other foot. That's why you use this foot to do a ollie and then that foot to do a kick flip. You have to flick it with the other stick, which is the stick you normally do a ollie with. 
I just recently started learning how to skate switch, so it makes it. I understand it a lot better. But it, once you start practicing the game, it may, it's a lot easier in the game, obviously, than it is in real life. I am garbage at switch anything. The only thing I can do switch is this. That's the only thing I can do switch. So shove it. And I mean, I can do a switch ollie, but I don't really count that as like a trick per se. I want to be able to do. You know, I actually want to learn this. Nope, hold that. That's what I want to learn in real life, which is just a uh, ollie melon. One reason I want to learn that because Roddy Mullen done that whenever he was little. And I thought that looked cool. A flat ground melon. Um, I guess we'll just make that the end of this video. And if anybody ever wants to see the other maps and don't want to look up someone else's channel, I could make a video on that. But honestly, the only thing that anybody would want to watch probably would be you trying to learn how to play the game because that was pretty entertaining. Do you want to play it anymore or do you want to play Zambos? Alright. Well, me and Darren are going to go play Zombies now. Hope you enjoyed and uh, peace. I'm going to be editing this probably later tonight instead of right now. But, yeah. The, the update does look really dope and this map is sick. I just really hope that if uh, the, the Hollywood High is not in this map, which I didn't find it personally, but if it is in this map, or it is on this update, it's on one of the other maps at least, because if that freaking 32 stair handrail over there was supposed to be its equivalent, there's nothing like that. I'm almost really trying to go all the way over go there. Back to the stairs. You want me to? I don't think I'm going to be able to get much done on the stairs other than maybe uh, the uh, going from the top, but I have to gain too much speed. I will say though, that uh, half pipe. I mean, it was, it's way better than the vert used to be in this game. I mean, you eventually started actually skating like it, you would in real life on vert. Whenever you're, you know what I'm talking about, the half, half pipe you were going on? You eventually started, like, towards the end of it, you figured out how to, like, go on sides and everything. Ollie, you have to have a lot less speed than what you would think for the game. But if you, if someone just now playing it can do it, it's not going to, it's not as difficult as it was used to any ramp you touch, you just either go skyrocketing or it wouldn't actually read your character at an angle because, you know, it's made by like a handful of actual skaters and not like the biggest nerds, I'm assuming, to actually understand most of the stuff, so. And that was a bad decision. I need to get more speed. Oof. I just knew I was going to hit that wall. Alright, there you go. That's how I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to get all the way at the top. I need to push this thing backwards as far as it can go. Alright, let's see if we can grind this whole rail. With it. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Ah. Oh. All right. Let's try this other one then. It's not the real bird slide. There we go. That's better. Of course. Really. Really. I'm. Uh, oh. All the way down. Like, Come on. I literally make it. I make it all the way to the very bottom. Uh, the last one I have to grind. See, I keep getting caught on the kinks of the rail. Maybe you're not. Well. Now firecracker half of it. Alright, there we go. Boom. That's probably how you're supposed to skate the thing, but I think it'd just be cooler and more safe to just actually just skate the whole thing. You should, you should jump an X-Men, ride to one side, jump off, and then ride the rest of it. <laughs> I'll try that, but I don't think I can do that. Someone better at the game could possibly do it. I got glitched on the, between the two rails. Alright, there we go. And, oh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get too much speed on the first one. Pop out and die. Alright, yep. Right. Pop out. Make it. Oh. Did it. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting. <laughs> that's the closest I can do it. Pop out and then yeet. And, well, that was close. I made it to the other stair set. Just ollied over the whole thing. <laughs> I'm trying to do a gazelle flip, but I can't. A gazelle hill. There you go. Gazelle hill and then gazelle flew. Uh, yeah, there you go. Or no, it's just gazelle spin. Thank you. There you go. So the reason why that's actually so difficult is because uh, the fight. Right, here's how you do a tray flip. Watch my analog sticks. You ready? Okay, never mind. It literally is trying to make me look like a fool right now. Ready? That's a tray flip. And now for a varial flip, you have to do it a little lighter. And sometimes you'll accidentally do it too much and do a tray flip like that. So you have to do it. That's also a tray flip. You have to do it soft to where it's only like going to a varial. 
and then spin 360. So you have to be like prepared to do them both. But you, it's that's why. It's, there you go. There's a gazelle flip. That's why it's difficult. Same thing with uh, gazelle heel flips. They're harder because whenever you're doing the thing, if you do it too hard, you'll do a tray or a laser flip, which is like a 360 shove it mixed with a kick flip or a heel flip. I mean, a uh, laser flip, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's, just, it's a front 360 shove. That's what a laser flip means, like, and a heel flip. Right? But then the very heel flip is like half of a 360 shove, which, or half of the force for a 360 shove, which would just be a regular 360, mixed with a kick flip, which would be that. So yeah, all right. Well, what, what else was that? The last thing you wanted me to do, or was there something else? All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed another outro. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed and peace. Bye. I thought I was gonna die right there.